In South Louisiana, our canals and bayous are a little bit different from up north where it's a lot of some of these big lakes, there's a lot of current flowing through. There's constantly uh, the water levels fluctuating and moving through. Fresh water's coming in, water's going out, uh, and it allows that bottom to stay a little bit harder than it does here in South Louisiana. Our bayous down here, we don't have a whole lot of current. Um, so that causes the bottom to become real silty. Leaves from the trees constantly are building up and they just don't get flushed away, washed away or from the current. So one of the things that when I'm jig fishing in the wintertime, I'm slowly gonna drag a jig across the bottom. So in order to be successful, what I found, uh, what works for me is a quarter ounce jig I cut the skirt on it to where it's just right at the same level as the hook. Uh, I like a smaller profile, uh, like a quarter ounce jig head on it. And then I'll put just a little crawl trailer on it. Sometimes I'll go without a uh, trailer and just a, just a jig, jig itself. But when I'm fishing this jig, when I cast it out, when I'm retrieving it, I'm slowly pulling it up instead of down into the side so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to keep that line up and keeping the head of that jig up from digging down into the leaves into the mud and creating a bunch of uh, muck and getting stirred up i find with the heavier jigs when you're dragging them across the bottom it just creates so much uh sediment coming up uh, I used to fish a heavy jig in the winter time and I was fishing a canal that was very clear and I can see my bait coming through and as it was coming up through the water column I can just see the mud just coming up around my bait and it just made it look not natural at all um, and then once I started reducing the size of my jig slowing it down and fishing it to where it's slowly dragging and feeling I started catching more fish now when the fish bites this jig you'll feel it you'll feel like a, a like a big doop and then i slowly when i feel that i slowly put a little tension on it and then you'll feel that fish and then i'll set the hook once i know he's there uh because we dragging this across the bottom we're we're dragging it across sticks uh maybe some rocks or something in the area and something that'll kind of mimic a bite so instead of setting hook on something that's never there I slowly give it a little pressure and you'll feel that fish. A lot of times the fish will just pick it up and you won't even know it and then all of a sudden you start to see your line swim off to the side. It's very important to keep an eye on your line when you're fishing it. Smaller profiles, winter time, will help you catch more fish. Thank you all for tuning in. If you like the content, please consider liking and subscribing. What is the way you like to fish a jig? What are some little things different? Uh, you found that works for you and let's talk about them let's have some conversation until next time y'all have a good one thank y'all for tuning in please like and subscribe uh, if there's any other way you fish a jig different or you found look at this mosquito <coughs> If we can all learn a little something, we'd all be doing good. <laughs> These mosquitoes here.